nice to be back. It is so nice to be back. So we got some projects on the list. We only got a couple days getting this wood stove done. Um, we're gonna work on that. So we got lots of stuff to do. Let's get rolling. Now the motivation is going to be to uh, get stuff up on the walls and out of the way. They don't have to move it around anymore. <laughs> got all this insulation. We get that up in the ceiling. That'll clear out of space. Get the wood stove, chimney pipe put up. Get this log out of the way for the collar ties. We got our hands full for the next couple days, guys. We're going to kill it. Got the body heater going to keep us a little warmer. Jason's gonna be working on the wood stove today. They've missed being up here. All right, boys. I know there's not a lot of space to walk around here right now, boys. It's okay. how this wall thimble goes all right i thought this mounted on the inside wall and this was just a cover but apparently this mounts on the outside wall and then this part of the thimble slides into this black part and they squeeze together and then all this goes on the inside so it looks pretty all this black pipe can come on and off pretty easily it's gonna be a 90 degree it's gonna 90 right here and then out this wall um, i'm gonna have to figure out the height and then that clean out t will be about face level outside uh, and then we'll just be going straight up and we'll have to put some supporting braces like i said we're gonna have deck out here so i should be able to get to that clean out t easy enough and then i'll be able to clean it from the ground and not have to get up on my roof all the time uh, anyway, Jenny's up here doing spray foam. That's what we got. I'm going to try to measure this out, get an idea of where I'm mounting this wall thimble at. Follow me along. You guys can buy these uh, pretty much any big box store. Uh, two foot, I think, is the standard length. Maybe they have three footers, too. They're only like six bucks a piece if they're single wall. You gotta pop it together, starting here. Uh, it's easier if you do it right here from what I've found. This in here, you bend it inward, get it in there, like that. You didn't click here. It's gonna be hard for you to see maybe, but this little Plus that tabs there. There's a rib. There's a rib right here that that has to fit into. And if it doesn't click in all the way, give it a little tap. There we go. You want the ribbed tapered end to go down. Um, and the reason you want it to taper down, or go inside the one below it, is for um, creosote buildup. 
Creosote buildup can be really flaky and fluffy, or it can also be very tar-like. Uh, the tarry stuff, I believe, is what's the problem. What it'll do is it'll drip down the inside of the pipes, and you don't want it coming to the outside of your pipe, um, making a mess. Stay inside the pipe, and then eventually get down to the bottom, burn up. Uh, that's why you want to burn up a real hot fire uh, every so often to burn off the creosote. Putting the chimney pipe up higher inside is better for efficiency. We're going to get more heat from the single wall pipe. If I go up an extra two foot, the disadvantage to that is the first seam for the triple wall outside will be right at of the roof, the roof line. And I think that'll make for a less secure chimney pipe situation outside. So I think what we're going to do is move it down one two foot chunk. It'll go out the wall lower here. Then I'll have the T, the clean out T, and then I'll have two pieces of single wall that are attached to the cabin rather than one. There we go. No going back now. So, don't do as I do, guys. Look, you're supposed to put this part in first. You're supposed to nail in these holes in the bottom, top, and sides, and then slide the outside wall. One. Put this in. You had to put a support. You had to box this thing in. Box, put a, vert a horizontal piece of uh, board here. And a horizontal piece of board here underneath and on top of it so it boxes it in Got the wall thimble installed inside and out. A little bit of footage of installing this, this clean out T, and this mounting bracket. That's more better, as Jason likes to say. These are self tapping. There we go. A rock. You're supposed to put screw three screws on each union. And there's even a hole here to screw this in, but uh, I don't have little black screws, so we'll do that when everything's permanent. Right now, this is just a trial run because I want to make sure I have everything. <clears throat> when you're out in the middle of nowhere, you get to do projects and come back with all the stuff <laughs> next time. Nothing ever gets finished. And that part, so we got about 16 and a half inches. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Woohoo! Yeah. It's level, plumb, and pretty close to level. I don't worry about making it perfect because I'm going to take it all back apart anyway.
All right, guys. I knew this would be an issue doing this. I just wanted to see how bad it was. The T doesn't come out far enough to pass the uh, hangover on the roof. Uh, I can't leave it like that. I don't want to modify the roof in any way. So that's where we're stuck. I'm going to take a couple of these pipes off just so they don't sit there like that. We'll move on to the next project. Hey, Benjamin. Hey, buddy. Good old dog. Good old dog. What you doing, old man? Huh? Got something to prove here? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. That's a good boy. This old man just refuses to quit. Is that a rough go the last few days so so that's that i'm gonna leave it at that today tell them what you did all right guys we did lots of little projects this week and um we got the wood stove in its final place we have to put the hearth in but i had to shim it up so we can get it to the right height we put new pipe here new black pipe the wall thimble in um, we showed you all that. <laughs> We're going to need to get a few pieces for the wood stove so I could go jaunt out and around the overhang for the roof. And then we'll have to get some support brackets for up higher uh, to hold the chimney down on too. So thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed our last video. That was fun for me to make. Uh, it was a little bit of rerun footage, but uh, it was all rerun footage. But <laughs> to see how far we've come see, in six months. Yeah, six months of hard work and 16 minutes of video. So all because of quarantine. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Uh, best wishes. And Take welcome. care. Welcome to all the new people. Like, subscribe, comment. Thank, thank you. Have a great day. Bye, guys.